Hello and welcome to Relax and Sleep Hypnosis Daily. My name is Jason Newland. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. My website is jasonnewland.com and if you wish to send me a message then go to my website. There's a message page on there I also do other podcasts uh, Let Me Bore You to Sleep Deep Sleep Whisper Hypnosis Chronic Pain Relief Stop Smoking Hypnosis uh, Sleepy Boring Objects Jason's Bedtime Story Time so there's quite a few different podcasts that I do might fancy checking them out. Now, I'm going to do something a little bit different to what I normally do. And this is going to be a very non guided recording. And by that, what I mean is I'm not going to. I'm not really going to try to influence how you feel. I'm not going to try to suggest that your body feels relaxed, that the muscles in your body relax naturally whenever you hear my voice or any stuff like that. I'm not going to ask you just to get in touch with a previous time that you were relaxed and calm we experience that positive sensation of comfort I'm not going to ask you to allow your mind to just slow down what we're going to do is just focus on different parts of your body What I will suggest is close your eyes, if it's safe to do so. Uh, make sure you've got, I don't know, loose clothing on is probably best. You know, if you're wearing tight trousers or you've got a tight belt or shoes on or something like that, just maybe if you can take them off or make them looser. Just the, so that you feel more comfortable anyway, like generally. If you're going to sit down, make sure you sit down in a chair that supports your body in case you fall asleep. So, you know, it doesn't have to be a reclining chair, but just something maybe with armrests at the very minimum. If you lie down on your bed, then there is a chance that you will fall asleep. And it's not because of how great I am at making these recordings. It's really simply because when we lay down, it stimulates that part of the brain that recognizes that we're in bed. And laying down in bed with the light off, with her eyes closed, generally means kind of one thing is going to happen and we're going to fall asleep, generally. Something that we've been accustomed to since birth. Now listening to my boring voice probably increases the chances of drifting off just because you may just get bored listening to me wondering if I'm ever going to say anything interesting well I can save your weight there will be nothing interesting said here <laughs> um, all we're going to do is focus on the different parts of your body and my stomach might make the odd rumble 
I'm just eating. I don't know why it's rumbling. Usually rumbles before I eat. Unless, of course, I need the toilet, which is probably best kept inside. Not, I'm, I don't mean the the words. I mean. So, I'd like to just focus on the different parts of your body, including your face. And just notice what happens when you focus on those different parts. I'm not going to ask you to relax those parts. You're not even going to ask yourself to relax those parts. There's no positive suggestions. There's no lead-in words. It's just focusing on the different parts of your body. So that you can experience what happens naturally when you just sit down calmly or lie down on your bed or some other flat surface with your eyes closed. And begin to just focus on the different parts of your body that I mention. And something quite amazing happens because even though I'm not asking you to relax your eyes or your hands or your feet, I'm not asking you to relax your shoulders relax your back, relax your chest, your stomach, I'm not asking you to relax your legs, or your groin, or your buttocks, or your arms, your fingers, toes, your jaw, your neck, all I'll do is ask you to focus on each part and notice what happens naturally. Because that sense of feeling comfortable and relaxed and calm is our natural state. If we take away the barriers from that happening, relaxation occurs naturally quite often instantly and some of those barriers that we put in the way of relaxing could be thinking could be focusing on something else so when you just sit down or lie down with your eyes closed. You're not trying to control your breathing. You're not trying to control anything. In fact, you're doing the opposite to that. You're letting go of that control. Because ultimately you can't force yourself to feel relaxed. You can't force yourself to feel hungry. You can't force yourself to feel any emotion. Relaxation can be coaxed, it can be progressed, you know, you can start off feeling a little bit relaxed and do things to increase that relaxation. You can want to feel relaxed, which means it's more likely to happen. You can wish to feel relaxed. Again, it's likely to happen when you do that. You may really need to feel relaxed. And in those situations, your body will 
relax at the first opportunity. In the same way as when you're really tired and sleep is very much the thing that your brain and body needs. When you do close your eyes in a safe place, sitting down in a chair or lying down on your bed, you're very likely to just drift off to sleep. Because that's what's needed, that's what's required. It's almost as if your mind just takes over and takes what's needed, which is peace, calmness and sleep. Now, by opening yourself up to putting trust in your own mind, in your brain, to do the right thing, to do what's needed. To know that if you need to relax, then that's what's going to happen. And by getting out of our own way, by letting go of trying to control how we feel, or even getting angry because we're not feeling the way that we want to feel, by letting that drop away, you have the chance to allow your mind and body to do what is natural. Now, I'll be focusing on different parts and Admittedly, you may find that you lose that focus that maybe you had before. So, for example, I may say, you know, focus, let's focus on your eyes. Now, you'll be aware of your eyes. You'll be aware of your eyelids, the muscles around your eyes. Maybe it's not dark outside, maybe it's light in a room you are and you can see some of the light through your eyelids. Maybe you're aware of some of the background sounds other than my voice. Perhaps you're aware of some of the other environmental stuff that's going on, like the temperature of the room. Perhaps the window's open and there's a breeze, or you've got a fan, so you can hear the fan and you can feel the fan, the air of the fan blowing on your face. Maybe you've only just taken your shoes off or your socks off and you can feel your feet starting to become accustomed to not having the shoes on because our feet feel different when we take our shoes off. Perhaps if you change this some looser clothing you can feel less restricted. 
physically. Almost as if your clothes are, instead of being clothes on top of you, they're more like part of your skin. Loose and flexible. Moving with your body. You may also notice that even though I ask you to focus on your jaw, your chin, the whole area pretty much from your ear down to your chin, including your mouth, your lips and your tongue. Though you're focusing on that area, you may start to notice that there's a part of you that really can't be bothered to focus. really can't be bothered to even listen to what I'm saying. But as you do focus, you can notice how your jaw feels. Does it feel looser? Does it feel more relaxed, naturally? How do your eyes feel? Just observing the physical sensation of your eyes, your eyelids and your eyebrows, the muscles around your eyes. And then, oh, as though filling in a colouring book, joining that observing to the whole of your face, your forehead, your cheeks, your nose, your ears, your lips, your jaw, your eyes, observing, not trying to encourage deep relaxation in your face and the rest of your body, but just noticing accepting Do the same process, moving from your forehead all the way back across your scalp, the top of your scalp, the sides of your scalp, and the back of your head, moving down into the back of your neck. Just noticing. Being aware how your scalp feels, your head,
connection now and focus on not just the back of your neck but the sides of your neck and your throat. Just observing. Just noticing. Just noticing. Focus into your upper body, your chest, and your stomach. spine, your upper back, middle and lower back, just noticing how your upper body, your torso feels as you focus on that whole area, your chest, Stomach and back. How it feels. The changing physical sensations in your back. Your stomach and your chest. Just allow yourself to feel however you feel without judgment, without trying to control anything. Letting go with acceptance. Focus on your shoulders, your arms, hands and fingers, your shoulders, arms, hands and fingers. observing how each part feels now.
without judgment. Just letting go. With acceptance. in on your hips, your midsection, your groin, your buttocks, your sternum. part that joins into your legs and a part that joins into your lower back and your stomach area. Just noticing, just observing. feels now without judgment just letting go with acceptance You can focus on your legs, your feet and your toes, your legs, feet and toes. Observing, not trying to change or influence, only observing. judgment, just acceptance, and letting go, acceptance.
15. 